Hi guys, Gary here and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to go through the basics of decontamination. Um, I'm going to use a clay bar, I'm going to use um, Corosol, both built hamber products. I'll do some decontamination and give you a how-to beginner's guide. I'm not going to go into too much depth, um, I've got a lot of background noise here at the moment, but I hope you enjoy the video. Cheers. <laughs> Have to excuse the noise because they're uh, doing the driveway up the road and uh, sods all the only time I get to do it now and it's noisy. But here's the products I'm going to be using today. Um, I will also be using some tar and glue remover because you can do a full decontamination. You want to use that method as well to um, decontaminate properly. But first, I'll go along with the Corosol. This is the original packaging, it's still the same product, um, it's just the old packaging. And this is obviously the new one, same as the auto clay bar here use this one which is what I've got left of an old one or it might be a new one but I haven't, opened, I haven't actually opened it have a look can't get my fingernails in there but either way I've got a, a brand new one there anyway we won't be using that much clay on this car and uh, we'll spin the camera around in a minute and um, once I've put it on and you can have a look Cheers. Right, guys it's been a few minutes and um, you can see it's good it's a good thing of having a white car i guess when it comes to decontamination you can see the fallout on the bonnet and off camera i've displayed the complete i've displayed <laughs> i've sprayed the complete offside so you see some uh, and as we come down to the wheel it becomes a little bit more evident Namely due to the disc brakes and the pads. You can see it down here really bad. I think some guys would um, use a wash mitt to get this off, but I don't want to, you know, obviously it's iron. <laughs> rubbing the wash mitt back in, or rubbing the iron part back into the car, so I'm just going to rinse off with. Uh, my jet wash. It's a particularly bad one door handle there. Let's see again around the arches. So I have to just fully wash the car anyway. So I will get the jet wash and um, wash it off. Alright, got jet wash now I should get rid of it. So I'll leave it on the car too long. <laughs>
guys. <coughs> don't want to leave around the car too long. Right, so next stage I'm going to dry it off and then um, we're going to TNG, tire and glue removal. I think there's quite a bit of tire. Again, we should see this being a white vehicle. Cheers. This is what I use for um, tire and glue. Koch Chemi, excellent products. Do a lot of brilliant polishes. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you haven't sort of heard of them, give them a hook up, look up on um, online and you'll see that they got they've got they're, they're an extensive um list but i've used this before in the past um recommended great highly god i can't speak bloody english <laughs> um so it says adhesive and stain remover but obviously it's a tar and glue remover plus i've also i've got the old and favorite intense tar remover auto gleam again very good product Maybe I'll do a comparison. And just one other thing to mention. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have heard of these bottles, but again, they are the professional range, the one litre, but you know, you can squirt product upside down, side to side, it still come out the nozzle. They're um, chemical resistant. They are a little bit pricey. Um, I think a lot of the professionals use them. Um, I got it. I got a set of three for around £18 delivered on eBay, but Maybe I could do a review in the future, but uh, they're really good bottles, really effective. So, anyway, let's waffle and um, I'll try and spray some of the product on the car. And again, with this stuff, they advise not to um, spray it on hot panels, warm panels to do it in the sun, you know what I mean? And again, it's to sort of rinse off. I'm gonna sort of concentrate on this sort of area down here. Also with these, um, with these triggers, you sort of, press in release and it still blows out as well so very effective well i can't see a great deal of tar on the car not in this area anyway but it smells like proper drop nail varnish okay there's some there you can see Yeah. And again, this is sort of leave again for 30 second minute. And rub off again. See it there. Excuse the noise, but it just sucks along. But, you know, and I think and I've heard that some people do skip this stage, but if you're going to do a decontamination, you just want to do it properly. You know? And again, you don't want to leave this on the car for too long. Make sure I've got, I'm going to probably actually wash this stuff off because it's really strong. And I don't recommend putting it on plastics, to be honest with you. Not unless you're going to wipe it off pretty quickly straight after. So I'll try and wipe it off now. I have got my stand out, but this is a quick sort of video I thought I would just do a basic little beginner's guide <laughs> while I've got a spare half hour. So I'm gonna try and rub it off now and see how we go. All right, I'm back on the door. Expect it to be too dirtier down here because of the way it's situated. <laughs> warm soapy water because this stuff isn't very it's very firm <laughs> it's hard to manipulate unless it's warm so it's always another handy tip guys <laughs> keep it hot <laughs> in warm water again some people use ONR to no rinse but built hamber I think even on built hamber the website it says you don't need a a dedicated um, clay bar lube. But the thing is, this makes. I have tried the. Um, I've tried a few, like the the clay bar mitts, but 
personally, I don't rate them. I know some people do, and it's what works for them, I guess. But for me, I'm just happy, call me old-fashioned, to use the clay bar. I, to me, it's more effective. And I think the built hamber clay bar, that's a scratch. Well, a ding. Not a ding, it's a bloody... Um, I'm quite impressed with that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, there's not too much contamination on my vehicle. <laughs> it's not bad because sudden I do ooh, up to 500 miles a week sometimes, you know. <laughs> um, I think I've done 17, 17k over during COVID. Um, so that was very interesting. And again, just rub it on. And once I've done this again, I'll rinse off the car. And then for me, you know, <laughs> I'm out in the country and for a, you know, weekend warrior at home, you know, this is as far as you've got to take it, you know. There's no more decontamination on this side of the vehicle anyway, you know, and I'm obviously just chucking a video together for you guys. So I may just get my lights out and, um, there you go. Lot more crap there so again i'll just go around to this side and and carry on with the other side of the car there and rinse off this side the bonnet and the wing but as you can see it doesn't take that much time okay all right um i'll leave it there i will rinse off the car and um if i do another video maybe with the da and my lights that's how i've got to set the car out i've got to set all that up but um if you want to i can't be bothered to turn for camera but if you like it or like what i've done if you think it's out before then give us a like give us a subscribe or give us a subscribe <laughs> subscribe to the channel um i'm getting towards 100 so we're slowly getting there i've not upped as much content as i'd like but you know i, I work full time i've got two young kids i've got two older kids um yeah so we'll see Give us a like, a thumbs up, subscribe if you want. Most of all, stay safe, guys. Cheers. Sorry about that. It's always have one issue or another. Nothing's ever simple when I do a video. There's always something goes wrong or something goes belly up. Uh, anyway, where was I? Where was I? What was I talking about? Obviously, the clay barring. Um, yeah, this is a, a beginner's guide. Um, there's nothing over complicated. I'm um, over complicated about it, guys. Um, I'm going to use just normal car wash as a lubricating aid for the bonnet um and i'll probably i'll try and go side to side as opposed to round round make swirls possibly um but i don't sort of really do this much if i intended on machine polishing a car which i probably would do another video of basic machine polishing polishing with a da um because i've not done this car before i think i've got my lights working now so it'll be interesting to see once i've done this um clay bar i may get my lights out and uh get my da's out and um well, I've got a DA and a rotary, but I'll start with a DA because I've got some new pads I want to try as well. Um, and I may video that and basic beginners how to uh, polish them with a DA. But anyway, I'll stop waffling and um, just crack on and just do a little bit of the old user clay bar on the bonnet and see what results we get with that. Cheers. All right, I've got the um, oh, I can't even remember what I'm talking about. <laughs> Muppet, right? I've got the um, built hamber clay and Tundra grams it comes in and I've just sort of cut it into four. I've got a couple of pieces lefted when I um lefted when I've got left from a few months ago when I didn't have a car. Um it sort of tended to melt a little bit in my shed, but I think it's obviously with a bit of warm weather that we've had in the UK, which is unusual, isn't it? But anyway, um I've wiped all the um tar and glue off um so there's no more tea there's no more tar on the car i did go off camera on the um bonnet and sort of whipped over which is what i'll um show you and guys in a minute um with regards to the well there wasn't much tar on the bonnet because well it's a bonnet it's quite high up in it you know but there wasn't no glue under there i i do occasionally park under trees where i park and live here but um i normally dump the missus car there and i park behind her to keep away from them but that um Ulex is uh no it's amazing it's amazing stuff it's good stuff um but same as autogleam you know i 
I just recommend what I use and what I found effective and what's been recommended to me by other people. Um, so, yeah, if there's any questions that you want to ask, um, not that I'm a expert, but or if you think I'm doing something wrong or whatever, just leave a message in the comments and I will try and reply. But obviously this is not an exhaustive guide and people may do things differently. This is just what works for me and I thought, well, well I've got a spare little bit of time, I'll do a video for you guys to watch and maybe some of you beginners out there give you a little bit more confidence on how to decontaminate your vehicle before polishing. Or you might just want to decontaminate it. Like, oh, God, that's me, hose pipe. I'll two back two seconds. Right, here we are. I've got the clay off into a little bit of a quarter. As you can see, looks very clean. So what I'm gonna do, I've lubed the bonnet up and we're just gonna go side to side. And you can tell when it's, because uh, you can feel it dragging over the paint. At the moment, not too much contamination, which is a good thing. Let's see on the end there. It's a little bit there. Like I said, I do try to keep my car <laughs> relatively clean. <clears throat> Some of you guys might be slightly different, but I'll just put some more car shampoo in there to keep it wet. I'm not using my posh bottles for this. Again. Obviously the clay bars will cause marring. That's why it's always best if you're going to do this to um, machine polish after. I think it's a stone chip. But I may get me lights out after this and go over with the DA and the bonnet. Okay. Mm. Interesting. But you obviously do this process, it just makes the glass, uh, makes the paint work like glass. It really smooths it. Um, and you, you can feel it with your finger. Uh, well, yeah, the clay bars. <laughs> I was actually sliding off the. Be interesting to see on the side of the car. But this just gets it. Some people just do this and they will just go on to polish but, or hand polish. And I suppose if you're not confident enough to use a machine, then that's fine. <clears throat> and on a white car, it's not so evident anyway, is it? I'll do now. Just bring it to the wing, have a look around this area as well. Take a pew. I'll turn the clay over. This feels rough. I can feel it. <laughs> but, and again, proofs in the pudding. Not a lot there. <clears throat> This area of the door in a minute. It makes my life easier at the end of the day if it's um not heavily decontaminated. It is well, it's better for me. But this will still smooth the paint work and get rid of anything you can't see. But like I say, the clay bar's white. <laughs> if it's heavily contaminated, a lot of stuff in the paintwork.